All right, Leo. Um, this next one's a, another controversial one, a little bit. And, yeah. Uh, you know, thou shalt not Whoops. package OBS that way. That's, uh, that's, that, yeah. that came down, and there was legal action that was threatened out of this at one point in the conversation. So, yeah, it goes that... back to rule number one. Yeah. Well, uh, a little I bit. don't know. You you got you when you're trying to make a point and you're trying to get some move some movement and you feel like you're not being heard and it kind of seems like I don't know, maybe if I just pay a lawyer to threaten them, they'll do it. I mean, I guess, but if you're shouting into an <laughs> echo chamber, I mean, was that effective? I well, I mean, Kind of, because we yeah, got something, a resolution, something, right? Something, something, something like, happened, yep. Yeah, yeah. You're... Right, but you spend a lot of goodwill mm-hmm. by doing something like that, right? Like, uh, this is why they call that the nuclear option. Yeah, you've because all the Because even though, <laughs> right, even though you push your agenda forward, you kind of hurt everybody in the process. And that's exactly what happened here. Um, so, uh, for those that don't know, Fedora has had flat pack versions of the software that they package. A lot of the user facing software that yeah. they package. So you could they, DNF install it, but you can also flat pack install it. And this is the one, this is the repository that flat pack has enabled by default. Or, yeah, f- wait, f- did I say flat? Yeah. Fedora. Fedora has f- their own repo enabled there by we go. default for flat right. packs. Yes. They, that's what you right, want to say. Yes. Right. Okay, there we go. All right. <laughs> Now this is not flat hub. Right. So Fedora right. maintains its own. And here's where the wires get crossed. OBS maintains their own flat pack and they publish it in flat hub. Correct. Well, OBS is also packaged by Fedora. So you can DNF install OBS, but you can also flat pack install OBS. But here's the kicker in Fedora. Right. If you don't go manually install FlatHub, then the OBS packaged version is not available to you. But also, um, if you do have FlatHub enabled, you are and you install it uh, either in the GUI or in the command line, you're prompted with a choice. You could install the Fedora one or the FlatHub one. And it turns out that the Fedora one was kind of broken sometimes. <laughs> Ish. A lot yeah, of I times. Mean, I would say <laughs> it's some of it's by choice. Like they don't give you all of the codecs, right? I mean, because Fedora is very mm-hmm. much about following the license requirements, um, you know, free and open type license requirements. And some of those codecs, we all know, they're not free or open. And so they right. so they're not included. So in a way it's it's broken in the in the sense that if you wanted to use those, they're not available to you. And and so then that that is definitely a thing. However, if you're if you're comfy with those limitations, then it's not broken in a way. Right. Exactly. But this also extended to some of the libraries being changed and leading to application breakage too. Yeah, that's where it went bad. Here's the here's the thing though. Like that probably would have been mostly okay-ish if the people that were experiencing all the troubles weren't going to the OBS tracker and saying, "Hey, your thing is broken. I'm running Fedora. Why is it broken? Fix it, please." Right. Okay, they probably didn't say please, but they might you know, not have said please, which is you know leads you back to number one. You get about <laughs> yeah, and you get about two hundred of those requests, and it's like, yo, what? It works just fine. What are you talking about? Right. Uh, we can't we can't replicate that problem. And then you find out that they're not using your package. Mm-hmm. They're using another package that was packaged differently than the way that you specifically put yours together and you know that it works. So right. huh. All right. So there is the problem. Now there wouldn't have been legal action if there wasn't a follow on problem. Yes. Yeah, which so is the issue got reported and there was a little bit of time that elapsed before anything yeah. got replied to. Yeah. So Joel on the OBS project uh posted in the flat pack uh uh SIG. Yeah. Uh, I forget what SIG Special stands for. Special interest group. 
That's the one. And waited about three weeks before he decided to say, Since it's clear that Fedora does not have any interest in any rational discussion at this point and has decided to resort to name-calling, we are now considering the Fedora Flatpak's distribution of OBS Studio a hostile fork. Hmm. One thing led to another, and lawyers got involved. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, so, yeah. Well, yeah. And so if, so let's kind of play this out in our heads. Like, if lawyers got involved and, and we actually got legal action that said that Fedora can no longer use the OBS name, you got to get rid of all of this stuff, we would have been in an ice weasel situation. Mm -hmm. And for quick context, uh, Mozilla said that Debian could no longer, because they made changes to it, um, call their browser experience Firefox anymore. Right. So Debian kept making their changes and said, fine, we'll make a new icon and call it Ice Weasel. And so they did for quite a few years until recently. Now now they use the ESR version. Everything is smoothed over. They're using uh, Firefox now. Right. But that would have been what Fedora would have had to have done with their version of OBS 2 but we didn't get there. We uh, so the good thing, woo. yeah, no, yeah, woo. absolutely. And uh, there's a couple of uh, issues. I mean, one of them, the 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 main one is on GitLab, the, the GitLab for Fedora um, in the special interest group. We'll link to that, and we'll link to the uh, Pager Pager. I think that's how you pa say it. Pa Pagere. Yeah. It probably <laughs> no, is French. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, there's another wait, issue is it over pajure? there. It's pajour. Pajour. Um, <laughs> sure. I don't know. We need we need a canonical uh, uh, pronunciation of Someone this word. Someone will somewhere, correct somehow. us. I will guarantee it. Please do. Um, anyway, that issue is a lot longer. There's a lot more comments on that, um, and they definitely it it went a very strange route um and some of the things <laughs> that were brought up were not related to the issue itself um and it, like somebody said we should just stop flat packs altogether um oh yeah we're, we're, that, that's been a long-standing thing where we're, we're, uh, there have been a lot of folks that are just like f stop fedora with the art with the flat pack rpm weirdness yep. and that's that's not gonna happen so and, and then there's other ones that say well you need to make sure you get your changes pushed upstream like you need to be you know more you know, better about that. Uh, yeah. I don't know. The, like, it, there was there was a lot of back and forth. So, yeah. If you want to read the, all the comments, go ahead. We'll link to that thing. Um, where was I going with that? I don't really know. Other than, um, well, I, I think you might have been leading into uh, Matthew Miller's comment. Yeah. About um, the door is so, a big project, and you got to make sure that you say things in the right spot. And you know. Is that yeah. is that really a developer's job, right? Like, because OBS puts it out there. Probably not. They, they, there's already a canonically there's a there's a christened package. Like, this is it. This is the one. And then Fedora. I get that. Takes it. But if you're gonna go to the nuclear route and and threaten legal true. action, wouldn't you try to go to the leadership of the other project? Hmm. Just saying. Be excellent to each other. Hmm. Yep. Hmm. So. Well, yeah. Matthew Miller said, uh, I'd like to remind everyone that Fedora is a big project largely comprised of volunteers. There are a lot of things going on at once. We can't always make decisions instantly, and reporting an issue to one special interest group isn't raising it with the whole project. It's not really fair to assume that we're not interested in a reasonable discussion, and it seems very quick to jump to nuclear level threats. Yep, that's a quote. Okay. Could we please de-escalate the drama? I'm sure everyone wants what's best for both projects and for our users. Well so, said. That really is well yeah. said. Yeah. Right. So it looks like uh, moving forward, both Fedora and OBS are going to be working closer together so that um, people know where to send, uh, I guess, complaints. <laughs> Where's the complain box? Yeah, no, uh, but so, also... yeah, long, long story short, right, they did come to, they did have a conversation together and they did come to a resolution, if you will. And so, like, they've agreed to make sure the issues that are, that exist in the Fedora flat pack will get worked on and that they'll communicate better as, you know, both projects will commu try to communicate together and work collaboratively. Look at that. People 
working together after legal action. But, you know, sometimes, I guess, uh, when <laughs> yeah. when a lawyer loves a project very, very much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, and, uh, and I'll add to that, too. Like, some other good things came out of this. It looks like the Fedora project itself is updating their council documentation. There's a PR out there. I'll link to that where they're talking about, you know, as a project, we should definitely try to upstream our changes to the yeah. to, to the upstream projects so that everyone can benefit from these things. And, um, you know, that, that makes our project flourish as well as everybody else. Right. And it's not like uh, Fedora wasn't contributing to upstream, but I think... Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah they, they were doing every, that. Yeah. Yeah. Every project has deficiencies and it's just good to see that uh, that they're not being overlooked. And when they are being overlooked and, you know, maybe with not legal action, but, you know, when they're brought up uh, to the right people, to the right place, to the to, so as long as the right ears hear it, uh, those concerns get taken care of. That's really good. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's like software and the project, they're Everything benefits from iterative changes. They don't have to be all at once. They can be small little changes. Just keep piling them on, and eventually you've got good stuff. That is the way that it works. All the links in the show notes. Yeah, and you can find those show notes over at uh, linuxuserspace.show. So uh, if you were wondering, where'd that quote come from? I don't believe them. Did they actually say that? I don't know. That seems kind of crazy. Well, you can find the quotes that we quote um, on the video itself. Like, they actually pop up down yep. there. But if you want to see the source of those particular text-only quotes that show up on the video, you can go to linuxuserspace.show slash the episode number. So in this case, this is 507. And all of the links that we talk about, everything that we bring up, everything that you hear about on this show is both in the show notes and those also find their way over on Lemmy and Reddit too. So um, mm -hmm. if, you, if you follow along with either of those communities, you will have seen those quotes before we actually talk about them on the show. Um, but if you don't follow along in those communities, all of the information, I promise we're not lying to you. They're all in the links. You can click on that stuff and follow up and make sure that uh, we know what we're talking about. Um, I think we do. Yeah, probably. most of the time. We read it yeah. once. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if we do get it wrong. Yeah. Because, you know, we're not perfect. Uh, you can always tell us how wrong we are by emailing us at contact at linuxuserspace.show, or there is a contact button on linuxuserspace.show. You can click on that. Is I think it's contact us. Is that what it is? I think I don't so, yeah. Now. Something like that. I'm pull, contact, I'm, maybe, I'm maybe it's right just now. contact. Something like that. Anyway, there's a button that says talk to us. I don't think more in those less. words, but it's close. Yeah, more or less uh, on the website. So go click on that button. You don't even have to put in anything other than the body of the email. And I think, I think maybe a title. I think maybe that's it. Uh, and then ship it off to us. We'll get it in our inbox Absolutely. and we'll be able to talk about it on the show or straight up just make a correction. Um, because, yeah. I, yeah. We can make changes. I like to, being right. Yeah, and if we got a link wrong or something, we can make changes to the show notes and whatnot. Absolutely. Absolutely. So if you see something we don't see, you let us know and we'll figure it out. Uh, kind of, you know, uh, and, and hopefully we won't throw any vitriol your way because, you know, rule one. Yeah, be excellent. Try to be excellent to everybody, right? That's that's it's key. It's key to everything. There's a theme here. 